hey guys welcome back to my channel and it is the month of halloween and i'm so excited to do these diy costumes for my kids um i will put pictures on the screen so you guys can see some of the diy costumes that i've done for my kids and yeah i just love diys like who else loves DIYs? Let me know in the comment section below, please. But um, today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a crochet Elsa costume for Evelyn. She is almost one. Literally, she has like two more weeks and then two and a half weeks and then she's one years old. Like time goes by so fast. So this is my first time doing a no sole crochet tutu and i might not know the right definitions for some things but if not it'll be on the screen somewhere let me show you guys some of the things that we're gonna need and literally you guys are coming along with me so yeah cross our fingers this works so the first thing that we're gonna need is a crochet tube top and I got mines from, uh, what was it? I think Etsy. And um, I got it in like four days. So it just looks like this. Like a little, this one is blue. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a baby blue. So their Etsy shop is called Silver Spoon Lifestyle. And they have so many different variations of colors and sizes that you can choose from. They also sell tutus and bows. So I'll leave their link in my description if you want to go check it out. You're also going to need some fabric tool. You can get it by the yard or by the spool. The spool of yard is a little bit more pricier. So that's why I chose to get it by the yard. Make sure to check my description for the measurements of fabric I used. You're also going to need six yards, six yards of white fabric tool a cardboard box that measures 18 inches long or um, just get it whatever length your tutu is going to be. The last things you're going to need are some snowflakes to decorate the dress, a pair of scissors, a marker or pen, a hot glue gun, and a ruler. You can also get temporary glitter spray, but that's optional if you want to like bling it up a little bit, the dress. So before we get into cutting the tool, I wanted to talk to you guys a like quickly about the measurement. And um, if I, w because I measured from her waist down how long I wanted it to be. And it was a little bit of like almost 18 inches that I wanted to like touch the floor, the material. So that's why I got 18 inches. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it double, which I'll explain a little later. But yeah, so you're gonna need one of these. And um, they say the smaller the cut, the poofier the the tutu. So um, since mine is gonna like touch the floor for Evelyn, um, yeah. If you guys need uh, help with like the size and measurements, literally you can go on Google because that's what I did to find like um like what size of crochet um like tube top or the headbands you need for like a certain age. So that's what I did. But I kind of went up a little bit because the nine inch length it was too short because I measured it on Evelyn. It was way too short for her. So we're gonna do a full length. I don't know how to explain the dress, but we'll just go with the process. It's 48 inches by four yards. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut the 48 into six inches by um, four yards. So this is a quick design of how I cut my yard into strips of six inches by 36 inches. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll gladly reply back. I'm going to fast forward this part and it's just me cutting my yard into strips of six inches by 36 inches. But if you guys want to see how I cut my yard, 
just let me know in the comment section below and I can do a quick video on it. Come on. is six inches by um what was it 36 and then once you fold once you fold that in the little loop which i'll show you guys and once i'm done it's gonna measure 18 inches so that that'll be the length how it looks i'm gonna cut all of them into six by 36 and then i'll be back so if you have the spool of fabric, you can use this method, which is easier. Since it's already cut, all you got to do is cut the length that you want. And what you want to do is just hold it like that on your cardboard. And then just start, I guess, rolling it around the cardboard. And then just cut one side. So I'm going to do that and then now I'll be back. start putting the tools. And hopefully you guys... I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a first line right there. Okay, so we put it through the hole and then we're gonna get it and pull it around. And then gently you're gonna make it tight. So I'm gonna do two blue um one white and then two blue one white two blue one white and i'm gonna do the first layer and then i'll be back to show you guys how it looks so it was three in the morning so i stopped but then um i just finished putting all of the second layer on on all of the white since i ran out of blue i have to go buy more material but this is how it looks and i'll put a picture of it on the screen of the one that i posted on my instagram story which if you guys want to go follow my instagram is at mom life underscore of five and follow my business page too at liz.beauty5 and um yeah so this is how and i just put a upside down milk carton just so it could hold it up but that's how it looks i didn't do these right here just so i can show you guys how to put the second and the third um layer on so i got more blue tool and i got this one in 10 yards just in case if i need extra so 10 yards, it was $7. I got one more of this three yard um, tool. And then I got this accessory like barrette clip because I wanna do like a matching headband, but that one will be in probably a separate video. So stay tuned for that. So I got these little snowflake things and I wanted to put it in front of her um, two bows. So you see here, I only have like all one and then I have like three. But um, I just wanted to waste the white tool from yesterday. So that's what I started doing. But I'll show you guys um, what I did because there is a section here. That one, I haven't done anything on it. So I'll show you guys how to do that. The second and third layer. So this is the second way or the third way that you can cut your yard and thank goodness that the the height of my desk was the exact size that i needed so i just cut it at one yard and that's how i started off at one yard but then um you guys will see how i cut it so i ended up getting my clips from my backdrop like the stand and I'm just going to measure one yard and then go back and forth 
and then cut through all the sides. I'm going to fast forward it, but like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I can help you out. One, two, three, come on! dress looks and one side I already filled it but I just wanted to show you guys how to add the second layer so I'm gonna do it with the blue so you guys could see so you guys see that square that's on top of that right there so you're gonna loop another blue one under here and over and then you're going to pull it tight. And that's how we're going to do all of the like three layers of it. So it could be fluffier. So like here's our first piece. And we're going to half that. And then twist it at the end here. Here is our blue one. And then right on top of that. I looped I looped it through like the tool and then we're just gonna put it through the hole and make it tight so it doesn't come undone. You see how I have the first blue one there and then right on top is the second one. So that's how I'm going to do it and I'll be back once I do all of the second layer so you guys okay so guys this is how the dress is looking so this side right here has three layers and then the ones right here has two layers you see that this side is kind of a little bit puffier so that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna go and finish putting the last row and then i'll be back to show you guys how it looks so this is how the dress looks now and i do have to cut like the bottom just so it could be all even, but this is the overall of the dress. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you see the, this one is not lined up with the rest because I pulled the little too tight and broke one of the little um, the lines, but you can't even tell and we're gonna put a bow in the back. Either a bow or maybe like a train, I'm not sure yet. But. Now just lay it down like this, the tutu, or in a circle and just trim out all the excess fabric. Just gotta fix these so that it can all be even. But that's how it looks. I'm gonna go try this on Evelyn and then see where I want to put this. So I found my middle piece, which is, well, my middle part right here. And this will be like her little straps that goes like this. Just to hold up the, the tutu. So now I'm gonna turn it around and then I'm gonna put it So it's gonna be like this. And it's gonna be adjustable since she is one, she moves around a lot. Oh, okay, so we got these straps and then we're gonna do the same thing to this strap. But this is how it looks. And I just added a bow there and I don't know if I wanna keep it there, but the straps will be adjustable. So if it's kind of too tight, I can just take it out and then readjust it 
we're going to put one of these little sunflowers in the middle right here. So this is how we're going to just attach the snowflake with some hot glue gun. And it should look something like this. Like how cute is that? So now on to the decorations. So now what, well, the last thing that you guys want to do is just get your decorations, like the snowflakes from Dollar Tree, and just attach them wherever you want on the fabric. And make sure to put like a cardboard underneath it so it doesn't get stuck onto the rest of the material. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back to show you guys how it looks. So this is how it should be looking. And I didn't wanna to put too much, I kinda of hit some in between the layers of tool. But yeah, so this is the dress. So now what I'm gonna do is get the temporary hair color. Um, from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but y'all see that? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spray it around and it smells good. And there it's it easily shakes off so um i don't know uh if you don't like glitter yeah i don't know if i want to add it now but um we're just gonna do it guys like Y'all see this? All that glitter. Like, it's so glittery. So, this is how the dress looks, guys. Like, it's so pretty. Can you guys see all that glitter I sprayed? Hopefully, it stayed because literally, look. I, I don't think you guys can see, but it's all over my floor. But... Hopefully it stays. If not, then it's fine. I think I had tried hairspray and it didn't want to stay either. So, so, then, so this is the dress. Like, I might adjust this bow because I just kind of threw it, like put it on, but this is how the back looks. And it has some hidden here. Like, look at it. Huh. You guys see all that glitter? <laughs> but yeah, so this is how it looks. I'm going to go take it outside so you guys can see better. So this is how it looks when it's outside. Oh, look at this dress, you guys. Don't mind the milk iron. I didn't have nothing to like make it stand on, but this is Evelyn's costume. She is gonna be Elsa. Can't wait to do the head, well, not the headband, the bows. So it could fit, but this is it. Look at all them glitters. Sparkle. So that is the end of this DIY uh, Elsa costume. No so That was a mouthful. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please stay tuned for when I do the either headbands or bows. I'm not sure yet to go with this. But stay tuned for that. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because this was a work, especially the cutting part. So please give me a like, comment, 
and don't forget to share this okay like i work so hard on it but if you haven't already subscribe hit that subscribe button and click that bell on so you can be notified every time i upload my video and i'll see you guys next time bye